Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome to our inspirational content once again. We are working on our 244th day to this awesome challenge, and we're going to read 1 Samuel, the 19th chapter, the first 10 verses together like we always do, and I ask you all to please don't forget to go back and finish reading this chapter. Well, today is going to be a sh very short summary due to things I need to do within the next 10 minutes. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm having water this morning. I'm reading from the Amplified uh, Translation, and it might be a little tough depending on what translation you're following along with me, but let's do the best we can, okay? Let's get started. Now, Saul told Jonathan, his son, and all his servants that they must kill David, but Jonathan, son, but Jonathan Saul's son, delighted much in David, and he told David, Saul, my father is seeking to kill you. Now, therefore, take heed to yourself in the morning and stay in a secret place and hide yourself. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will converse with my father about you. And if I learn anything, I will tell you. <coughs> Excuse me. And Jonathan spoke good of David to Saul, his father, and said to him, Let not the king sin against his servant David, for he has not sinned against you, and his deeds have been of good service to you. For he took his life in his hand and slew the Philistine, and the Lord wrought a great deliverance for all Israel. You saw it and rejoiced. Why then will you sin against innocent blood and kill David without a cause? Saul heeded Jonathan and swore, As the Lord lives, David shall not be slain. So Jonathan called David and told him all these things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as in times past. Then there was war again, and David went out and fought with the Philistines and made a great slaughter among them. And they fled before him. Then an evil spirit from the Lord came upon Saul as he sat in his house with his spear in his hand. And David was playing the liar with his hand. Saul sought to pin David to the wall with the spear, but he slipped away so that Saul struck the spear into the wall. Then David fled and escaped that night. May God add a blessing to the reading of this wonderful word one more time. And that particular word in which said the spirit of the Lord came upon uh, Saul, uh, from my understanding, that means that God allowed the evil spirit to do so. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead with our uh, Google summary this morning. Jonathan learns of Saul's plot to kill David, and like a good BFF, he warns the future king of Saul's evil plan. And BFF, I like how they said that. Jonathan then convinces his father not to kill David for the time being. David again escapes with his life. Saul sends hit men to David's house because Saul is incapable of killing David himself. Wow, wow, wow. This Saul person really turned out to be... Oh, he, he, he's something else, y'all. Y'all come up with y'all terms or y'all want to say what he turned out to be. It's probably true. I, I'm sure there's more than one way to describe Saul. He really, really has gotten beside himself. Uh, he knows that he's incapable of killing David, so he hires some hitmen to do his dirty work. But anybody know anything about David? <laughs> Remember that scripture. If God be for us, who can stand against us? So let's take that along with us today. That no matter what the enemy plots against us, if God be for us, who can stand against us? Like the video. Enjoy your Saturday. And I love you all. And please take care. Be safe out there. Enjoy the weather. I don't know what's going on outside just yet, but guess what? It's still going to be a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. We're going to speak that right now. It is a beautiful day because we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Bye.